A lot of guys don't know about it, but I collect gold voyages and piracy books. How in the world I ever got started collecting books, especially books about pirates and voyages, I, I don't know, but there's over 4,000 books in this room uh, dating back to 1526. Look over here. There's nothing like picking up a book from the 1700s or the 1600s and paging through all that history. And it's not just the words in the book. It's the smell of the book. It's the age of the paper. It's who owned the book before. What library was this book in for this 300 years? I mean, all these things go through your mind. And to read these books is an adventure in itself. Look at this book. This is Sir Francis Drake. London, 1626. It's one of five known copies. First edition of Sir Francis Drake. The book collection. Eventually, he just went crazy with it. I remember sometimes I'd get so mad at him. I'd write him nasty notes, you know, it's like, we don't need any more books. <laughs> but it's just like everything he does, he does it with a passion. There's just no stopping him. And today we have a wonderful pirate collection. I mean, it's fantastic. It's a phenomenal library that we have because he was passionate as much as he is about hunting. He was about collecting his books. I could spend all day in here looking at books and we came to look at the trophies. So let's go look at them. Yep, so my trophy room. I'm sure there's a lot bigger trophy rooms in some houses and smaller ones too, but the thing is, is these animals, every hair on every mount means something to me. All these animals were on TV or on video. Look at this polar bear. I remember every part of it. I'll never probably ever hunt another polar bear. And to have them in my trophy room like this, it just brings back memories. Hunters are collectors. They collect sheds, they collect rocks along their travels. It's the same thing in hunting. And whether we're collecting sheds or trophies, we're collecting experiences.